children, hope you're all okay. Um, so today I thought we could do some literacy and as it's very close to Easter, I thought we could do some more Easter writing. So um, I found a book, a story in this uh, book, which is called uh, Stories for Every Season by Enid Blyton, um, which is, has got lots of lovely stories in. Um, and the one that I found is called The Easter Chickens. So I thought um, I'd give it a read and then we can um, do some writing about it afterwards. So here we go. Tommy was staying with Auntie Susan and Uncle Ben at the farm for Easter. Mummy and Daddy had gone away for a holiday by themselves and Tommy was sorry because he did so like Easter at home. There were coloured Easter eggs on, on the breakfast table to eat them and chocolate ones too and perhaps a fluffy yellow chick tied to one egg or a little rabbit. I don't expect Auntie Susan or Uncle Ben know what a little boy likes at Easter, thought Tommy. I don't expect they will buy me any eggs at all. I wish I was at home with Mummy and Daddy. Sure enough, when Easter morning came and Tommy ran downstairs to breakfast, there were no coloured eggs for him in his egg cup. Only just an ordinary brown egg laid by Henny Penny, the brown hen. Tommy looked to see if there were any chocolate eggs for him, but there wasn't even a very small one. He felt very sad. Sit down and eat your breakfast, Tommy, said Auntie Susan. We must get on because we have a lot of things to do today. Auntie Susan always had a lot of things to do. So did Uncle Ben. Perhaps that was why they hadn't remembered his Easter eggs, Tommy thought. He remembered how he had seen a little yellow chick in the sweet shop yesterday down in the village. It was carrying an egg. He would have liked that very much. He wondered if he should ask Auntie Susan if she would buy it for him, but he decided not to. Mummy had always said that he mustn't ask for things. She, sa she said if he, was not, if he was nice enough, people would always buy him things without being asked because they loved him. I may not have been nice enough, Tommy thought. So instead of being sulky and disappointed, he tried to be extra nice to Auntie Susan and ate his egg without dropping a single bit of the yellow part on the tablecloth. Can I go on any errands for you, Auntie Susan? he asked when he had finished his breakfast. I think Uncle Ben wants you to go down to the hen coops with him, said Auntie. I'm coming too. So they all three went down to the hen coops. There were four of these, with four brown hens sitting on 13 eggs each. And do you know, when they came to the first hen coop, some of the eggs had hatched. Yes, and there were three little yellow chicks running about saying cheep 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 as loudly as they could oh said tommy delighted look at those dear little chicks auntie do look at them they are much sweeter than the toy ones i saw in the shop yesterday and oh look they have got something tied to their backs whatever are they carrying look and see said uncle ben with a laugh so tommy crouched down and peeped to see what they were carrying the chicks had gone into the coop with their mother and it was difficult to see one at last, one of them came out again. And what do you suppose it had on its back? A little chocolate egg. Fancy that. Oh, there's the picture. It's carrying an egg, just like the little chick at the sweet shop, cried Tommy. Oh, who is the egg for, Auntie Susan? It's for a nice little boy I know, said Auntie Susan, laughing. That chick has an egg from from me, Tommy. And that one has an egg for you from Uncle Ben. And the third one has an egg for Mummy and Daddy. It came for you yesterday and we kept it till Easter Day. Then when the chicks hatched out, we thought you would like to have eggs and chicks together. Really proper Easter chicks this time. Auntie, are the yellow chicks for me as well? I am so pleased. Uncle Ben caught the chicks and took off the chocolate eggs for Tommy. The little boy cuddled the soft, cheeping chicks. Their little bodies were so warm. He loved the tiny creatures as if and they were, were his very own. Will they grow into hens and lay me eggs? he asked. Oh, yes, said Auntie Susan. You shall take them home with you next week when you go. Real live Easter chicks, Tommy, for your very own. This is the nicest Easter I've ever had, said Tommy. And I thought it wasn't going to be. What will Mummy say when I take home my Easter chicks? Tommy still has his chicks. 
but they are, gr they are growing into brown hens now and will soon lay him eggs. One for his own breakfast each morning, one for mummy and one for his daddy. Don't you think he is very lucky? That's the end of the story. That was a nice one, wasn't it? Okay. So what I thought we could do now is write an Easter wish because Tommy really wanted some eggs for Easter, didn't he? And he got them, but not how, in the way that he was expecting. So I thought that maybe we could um, write a little Easter wish. It might be that you wish for some chocolate eggs or you might wish for some chicks or you might wish for some nice time with your family or you might wish for a nice sunny day, whatever um, you think would be a good wish. So I'm going to do mine and then you can do yours as well. Let me get my board and my pen, which is over here. My wish is going to be for a nice sunny day. So I'm going to write I, which is a tricky word, which we know, sunny day, finger space. And I'm going to do the word wish, w, i, sh, wish, finger space. I probably need to go on the next line for this one. I wish for, f, or, Finger space, ah, nice. Nice is a bit of a funny word. Nice, sunny, s ah, mm. it's got two ns in sunny, and it's actually got an e for the e sound in sunny. Sunny finger space day, d, a. I'm going to have a full stop at the end. And then I might draw a nice picture as well of the sun. A big smiley sun like that. I wish for a nice sunny day. So you might want to do this. Um, you could do this in your books if you've got them or on paper. Or you might want to make a nice poster or something. Um, whatever you would like to do. And that you'll have your Easter wish. I can't wait to see them, so you can send me them if you've, if you've got them. And um, remember, you've got your sound mats to help you with how to write uh, the sounds and stuff as well. Okay? So I hope you enjoy doing your Easter wish, and I look forward to seeing them. Bye!